More and more of the things we buy are produced by multinational corporations operating in many countries. But can we be sure these businesses and their suppliers respect the rights of workers and communities? John Ruggie is author of the UN's Protect, Respect and Remedy Framework, which aims to ensure businesses uphold human rights. Well, it can happen in, in any number of ways. For example, in, uh, in the area of footwear and apparel, uh, it's uh, often overseas suppliers um, who don't um, adhere to recognized labor standards, don't pay overtime. In the area of um, extractive industries, mining and, and oil and gas, the problems often are in relation to communities in which the companies operate. Uh, adverse impacts, whether it's environmental or otherwise. Communities protest. Um, protests escalate, uh, security forces are called in, uh, people get hurt uh, and the company ends up being accused of complicity um, uh, in, in, in the harm that's done. Well, the role of business is to do business, but as business goes about its business, it ought not to harm um, individuals and communities. It's a basic social expectation um, that, uh, that, that business uh, respect the dignity of people they interact with. Uh, similarly, governments have a role to uh, make sure that, um, that labor laws uh, and, and, and uh, consumer protection laws and so forth uh, are enforced. It clearly specifies the respective roles of governments and business and doesn't try to get the two mixed up. Uh, what the advoca advocacy community sometimes does is to, is to lay on business itself um, uh, all manner of, of responsibilities for social outcomes, including things that governments ought to be doing. Uh, and what this framework does, as I say, is to clearly differentiate the respective roles of businesses and governments and make sure that, uh, that they both play those roles.